our faculty, we offer three programs that are unique in South Africa. In fact, one is uh, unique in sub-Saharan Africa. BSc Nutrition. This is a BSc program but four years. This is an exception. Typically, BSc degrees are minimum time three years, but this one is four years. Um, it is a multidisciplinary qualification and it is packed with, with core subjects that needed for this very demanding professional environment. The BSc Meteorology, uh, that is also unique, not just in South Africa, that's the one that is unique in Sub-Saharan Africa. We work together with the Weather Service and our graduates are trained uh, uh, in meteorology, that is the science of weather. And the third one is a master's degree in applied mineralogy in the geology department. So who is it that we're looking for? Who is the ideal young person to join us? Yes, this is, uh, this is somebody who likes a challenge, who asks why, who wants to understand and wants to take things apart to see what, what it is built up from. Somebody that likes diversity, that likes change in, in, in what they are um, challenged to do and what they have to deliver. Many interesting places to work. I don't want to, listen, to talk you through all of them. They're with you there. Um, just to name a few, uh, the um, fourth one there is a popular one. We have uh, qualifications in wildlife studies and our graduates can join sand parks. Also our graduates in animal science. Um, that is where they could be uh, employed. Then you see our graduates in insurance and actuarial science. They can work um, in banks and in big companies, food industries, and many more. Our, our graduates typically join a professional environment where they work in multidisciplinary teams. So they need to be able to not just work on their own, but to to function well in, in a group. And that might sound like anomaly. Sometimes we think scientists are quite happy to be on their own, busy with things, but uh, uh, increasingly the professional environment will, will require of them to have the social skills to be able to work in teams. And at this point, with this slide, I'd like to, to just talk you through the situation where, where a learner has a very strong idea, they want to go for these high profile professions. And the high profile professions I've listed on the right. Society demands of them to go for gold. Maybe their parents pressurize them. The moment you have a learner that excels in science and maths, then everyone expects them to become a doctor, right? Or an engineer. So, all of us know this is not possible for everyone. It's also not the right choice for everyone. So our students commonly arrive here and they by now will have known the grade 12s whether they were successful to be selected for medicine or vet science or not. And then they don't have a plan B. They don't know of an alternative. In the science faculty, we have a third of our students who are in their preferred programs. But two-thirds come here wanting to do something else. Two-thirds of our first years arrive and they actually wanted to be in health science or in engineering or in actuarial science and they didn't make it. And now they live in denial. <laughs> and, and, and this is where I appeal to you to really work with, with our young people and help them to think of alternatives. Yes, there are more opportunities for selection. In the middle of the first year, they can be selected for health sciences. Uh, Professor Reinefeld, just two presentations earlier, talked about additional opportunities to be selected for veterinary science. But I know from 
from uh, uh, experience that the competition gets tougher. For a student that didn't make it in grade 12, it becomes harder. Just to give you an indication, there are about 40 places for health sciences for mid-year selection in the first year, and at least 400 would like to be considered. At least 400. There are about mm, 10, 15 places for veterinary science, and six times that number of students who apply. So that's the kind of competition. They're already the cream of the crop, but they are now in a very stiff competition, and they don't know, uh, they have never really given themselves permission to consider Plan B. Plan B is on the right in the table. I'd like to just present that to you. Very often, if a student doesn't get into medicine, they think BSc Medical Science is the route to go there, to achieve their dreams. And here, please just consider with me, medical science, the emphasis is on science. The candidate who is the, is the ideal candidate for BSc Medical Science wants to work in the lab, wants to do experiments, wants to analyze tissue samples, or uh, uh, when there was possible arson in a um, building site that, where there was a fire, they need to analyze uh, uh, material for, for remnants of, of whatever started the fire. Medical science would, would be the, the kind of person who would like to test for uh, drug abuse in terms of blood samples containing metabolites that indicate that this uh, person has used um, a, a, a substance. So, where the, the ideal doctor wants to work with people, want, has a heart for people with needs, and wants to assist that person to get healthy again, the, the scientist, the medical scientist, wants to work with things, with, with equipment, with samples to do tests on. So it is not the gateway to medicine. It's not the ideal one anyway. We have got very limited spaces there. For veterinary science, why not consider a career in animal science? The, the country needs those animal scientists uh, and, and many more of them. Or in zoology. For actuarial science, there is a, such a demand for graduates with good training in statistics and mathematical statistics. I can tell you with big data, with, uh, we're becoming a data-driven society. And we just cannot train enough statisticians to supply that demand. So if you have learners with excellent skills in maths, and they're performing very well, but they didn't get into actuarial science, please alert them to the careers available in statistics. You can Google that. I did that yesterday. And within seconds, you'll get so much information of worldwide there just isn't enough statisticians and we are not supplying the demand uh, fast enough. In geology, yes, so many of our learners, um, they, they grow up next to mines and they have the aspiration, if I can be a geologist, I earn lots of money. But the mines are struggling, we cannot, we are reducing the number of geologists that we're training. So please uh, alert them to the fact that in South Africa, we, we have an, a, a dire shortage of soil scientists. And of the few we still have in South Africa, most of them are approaching retirement. We need a new generation of soil scientists. And finally, I gave you the alternatives for um, genetics, uh, for psychology as well. And at the bottom of this slide, please don't overlook the list of scare skills. Those are um, professions and uh, uh, disciplinary domains where we need many more students to join us. Mathematics, mathematics is serving a whole range of, of professions. Plant pathology, entomology, food science, plant science, agricultural sciences, and geoinformatics.